has been convicted of a fraud to the tune of $3 billion. There he is. Lee Farkas is his name. He now faces uh, sentencing in July, the first possible life sentence. And basically, he's been accused of selling millions of dollars of fake mortgage assets to try and cover the losses at his own firm. Now, what's that done? That caused a loss of billions to the, certainly to the government, the U.S. government housing program. His actions also led to the collapse of one U.S. bank, and that bank obviously cost the U.S. insurance scheme about $4 billion. So a lot of money involved, but I'll have a lot more on all of this on the World Business Report in about 20 minutes' time. See you then. Thanks, Thanks Aaron. Martin.